So how is your checkout page actually looks like on your Shopify store? Hey guys, Happiness here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video or in today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you guys how you can customize your checkout page so you can make it the process easier and simple for your customers when they visit your store and when they purchase things from you, they definitely will buy products from you or they'll buy your services that you're offering from your store um, if you have a really good checkout page and if the checkout page process will be easy and simple that will be awesome for your customers so in today's video I am going to be showing you guys how you can customize your checkout page and before we jump into this tutorial please don't forget to give me a big big thumbs up subscribe on my channel for more video like this and leave me a comment down below what do you think about today's tutorial and without further ado let's jump in today's video so here we are on our Shopify admin page um, to start customizing our checkout page let's click online store and if you don't have your Shopify store yet um, you can start your 14 for days trial and you can start customizing your store and then you can go from there so now let's click customize in here so we can start customizing our checkout form so once we are on the back of our store here let's come up on top here where it says home page and click this hour right here and then select check out and this is our default checkout page that comes um, in Shopify store um, however we have like so many uh, different few things that we have to go and change them so they can match our Shopify I mean so they can match our brand um, so before that let's go back um, let's go back here on our online store and let's open our, our store so this is our store for now so why i did that it's because i just want us when we keep um, customizing our checkout form and i will really recommend you to do the same thing like when you when you are customizing your checkout form it's good to have your store open on this side so you can know what kind of your um your brand color scheme so on the top left side here let's click open checkout settings and on these settings here we'll go and um, start doing all our edit uh, all our changes and start editing our checkout form using all of these so for example here we can use um, the colors we can change the typo graph the layout the buttons and stuff like that so this is how we can do it on our checkout so let's start by the color so basically by the color like what is your brand color scheme so if your brand color is like black and white then make sure all your checkout boxes is like black or either white like you can see here this is like a blue color this is not my brand color if I go back on my store here I can see you can see here I have like like a black ish uh, all my buttons boxes are like black um, even when I click like one of my products here if I click on my product you can see all of them they are black so I'm gonna have to change this and you're gonna have to change that so it can match your brand color I don't know what is your brand color but make sure it's gonna match your brand color and to do that to change this color here let's go on the checkout box here uh, selection here let's click checkout and then let's scroll all the way down and you can see um, the colors here is bluish so let's click that and change to black okay and then let's change this one as well let's change it to black and you can see it has been changed from uh, blue to black okay so that will be uh, that can be one of the thing you have to change then let's click save to change to save these changes uh, so we won't lose our changes now let's scroll all the way down here and in here we can change um, on our checkout section we can change our background image we can change our custom logo we can add our logo uh, we can change like so many different things so let's start by the background image to do that let's select and we can select an image that we have available now so that's the image and then let's click select 
and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look like on our check on your checkout form you can see here the image has been uploaded and this is how it's gonna look like um, you can also add a logo so let's select that and let's put a logo okay and then let's click select let's wait for it to load um, and it's gonna appear somewhere here okay now you can see this is your background image and this is your logo here so this is actually an optional you really don't have to add like an image you can just take out the image out and by doing um removing the image and you can just leave this place as a blank so it can be like minimal and things like that or you can just leave your uh only your logo so this is like totally up to you um if you want to have the background image you can just add it there just like how i showed you but i like to have like minimal things so i'm just gonna leave it like that you can also change your uh your logo if you don't want this um if it's too small you can just uh resize it and uh, now on the position section you can change your logo where do you want it to be like if you want it to be at the center you can pick at the center um or if you want it to be on the right hand side you can pick the right hand side and it's gonna save it on the right hand side so it's kind of taking a little bit longer just okay now it's on the right hand side here as you can see but i like it better on the left hand side so i'm just gonna leave it on the left hand side where it should be appearing around over here so this is an optional to add your background image um, and your background logo and you can position it and you can change the logo size so if you want your logo to be larger so and you can pick that size here on the logo size and your logo sizes will change or if you want it to be small medium you can also do that as well so this is our desktop um, view um, let me show you first like when we had like a background um, a background image on our banners section so if in case you you chose to have a background image let me show you how it's gonna look like on the mobile this is how it's gonna look on the mobile uh, so this is your background image and this is your logo and if you want to look at the desktop this is how it's gonna look on the desktop and this is on the full screen so um, every little detail that you change it's really, really important to see how it's gonna look like on all these different types of devices so your customer can be able to see your brand um, and your contents in there uh, I'm just gonna take out this image I just wanted to give you guys an example of how it's gonna look like now let's switch back to the desktop now let's talk about the main content area so this one here will be your main content area and you can select an image so let's select an image and you can see how it is actually gonna look like so I'm just gonna select an image and put select and this is how it is gonna look like so one thing you have to pay attention to this is where whenever you add your images on your um, your checkout page it's gonna be a mess so you have to check what kind of image you're adding like let's say here you can see i just added an image and you really can't read the words properly and it doesn't even like really look great so i'm just gonna take this out but i just wanted to show you guys um, if you want to add an image so i'm just gonna leave it as a minimum but i can change the color so you can change the color um as as many colors as you want you can pick one color though so i'm just gonna leave um the white color there that will be my background color so it looks fresh people can read and see what they gonna um the, what kind of information they should add on their checkout page and then um, you can change the form field um, if you want them to be like in white color or you want them to be transparent you can also do that and that will make changes for you as well and also here there is a background image so let's add a background image and you can see 
like how this background image is gonna look like as well so the background image basically is gonna be on this side on your right hand side so if this will be perfect for you if you think this will look um, great for you you can pick that image but again I like to have like things minimal on my store so I'm just gonna take this image out and i'm just gonna leave it like that but again you can change the color if you want i'm just gonna click here on the background color and i'm just gonna put white so it can match the colors from here and that's how you can do that now let's change the typograph so pretty much these other um the headings and then there's there's also a body so it's good to match all your um your fonts so you can see here these are my fonts from my stores so make sure you don't have like so many different fonts like one to two different fonts is really good for your store so you can pick um the the font size that is just simple and it's not like too complicated that it can make like a really hard, hard time to your customers when they start doing the checkout um when they're doing checkout on your store and again these are the colors is that these are my button colors the accent colors and again i'm just gonna leave um a red because red normally stands for errors so that i'm just gonna leave it there okay so pretty much this is how you can edit your checkout now let's click save before moving on the next uh point um so you can see also down here you're on your checkout setting uh you can customize more checkout setting by visiting your admin page so let's click visit admin page and we can finish um doing like a little bit of customization So these are gonna be our additional checkout settings. Um, so either you want your customer to check out as a guest, or you want them to create an account for them to check out, or to create an account is actually optional that your customer can um, check out as guest or as um, when they create an account. So it's good to put um, optional because this is really, really very common for most of the store. They normally put uh, like optional, they give their customer an option to either to check out as they create an account or to check out as guest and then on the customer contact method here so you can select what kind of contact method you want your customer to use at the checkout so let's say if you want them to use a phone number or an email you can select this one or if you want them to use only an email you can select that one as well so I'm just gonna put a phone number or an email and my customer can pick what they want either they want to put their phone number or an email so it's good to give your customer an optional okay and then on the customer information here you can um either put you want your customer to put uh their first name and last name or you only require them to put only their last name you can do that as well most of the people they really don't like put all their names so you can give your customer your uh you can give them um, the option to do that and then if you want to include your company name or if you want it to be optional or it is really really required you can also do that and then here on the address um your customer can add um can add the address you can give them different option or if you want them this to be optional or to include or it's required this is up to you it's just gonna depend with your uh, business or your store policies and this is the shipping address uh, they can use either their phone number you can include that or they cannot include that it's totally again optional with your policy and also you can also um, edit uh, your marketing section like you can let your customer to subscribe to your marketing method on the checkout so if you want them to leave an email so they can subscribe on your marketing you can do that or if you're doing like SMS marketing you can also do that so yeah this is how you can do it it's just very easy very simple it doesn't have like so many complications so after you finish um, editing everything click here save 
so yeah guys this is how you can customize your checkout form um, as you can see the process is very easy very simple it doesn't require like so many things or you to do like some coding and things like that it's just so simple so I hope you liked today's tutorial if you do don't forget to give me a big big thumbs up subscribe on my channel for more tutorials like this and leave me a comment down below to let me know what do you think about today's tutorial or if you have any video recommendation you would want me to do it for you guys um let me know down below on the comment section and that's it for today's tutorial and i'll see you guys on the next video